everybody welcome back to another video we finally done a little bit of Baldur's Gate 3 though in this video alone is going to only be character customization and creation all right uh, mostly because well this is not gonna be a standard Baldur's Gate 3 run no uh, fun fact I've actually played this game about 50 hours before doing this video 50 55 hours something like that uh, i've had to delete my saves because uh this is modded okay we're doing a modded playthrough we are currently running about 570 i want to say 70 mods i think 565 570 somewhere along those lines yes okay uh, this is a mod compilation, mod collection rather. You can find this on Nexus Mods. Uh, I actually do need to look this up. Give me one quick second to load in the collections so I can actually tell you guys. Uh, it's called QOL and Extras by Roku95. Uh, I'm just gonna leave a link in the video description, okay? And you can find this. It is an adult compilation slash collection, so yeah, you have been warned. <laughs> uh, that said, I have removed all the nudity stuff from uh, the game. Hopefully, we don't get any nudity during uh, actual gameplay on video. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to edit this, and I don't really want to edit this. Alright, so... You might notice a few new races, yeah. Uh, I have been made aware that this satyr race not having hooves is for some reason a thing. But what I have noticed is that some of these classes do actually have the hooves. Let me, let me actually figure them out. I have done this and I have noticed at least one of them had hooves. Uh, okay, this has feet. Okay, never mind. They have no hooves at all. There we go. There's one. The witch one has hooves. And the boots. <laughs> we have a lot of classes, okay? A lot of classes. That said, if we just play Dragon Ball class... <laughs> this is my own edition, by the way. This is not in the collection. You can find this. Uh, I'm gonna leave a I'm gonna leave a link to the Dragon Ball mod as well, okay? Now let, let me actually choose a race. Let's see. Let's turn off the details because I, I actually like this one better the default the standard one uh, This is a dryad. Let's not play Dragon Ball. Let's, let's play something else. Hmm I've, I've mostly tested the Dragon Ball mod and it's actually pretty nice <laughs> Ah I'm sorry, my nose is still... And my throat. Just a little bit. <clears throat> this... This flu is just... Oh my god, it's been almost a full month and I've been sick. I'm still sick, kinda. But I'm, I'm slowly getting better. My kid's finally back in kindergarten, so I'm able to record this video. Uh, let's see, we are playing currently on... Four... The, the version of the game, I mean, is currently version 4.11.48. Let me actually check. Uh, 4.48.11.634. Also, this is the revision number 200, 250 of the collection, if you're wondering. Alright. The collection literally just got updated, by the way, so I, I had to wait just a little bit. I'm waiting on Nexus mods to give me access to... Oh, I just realized this is uh, not working properly. The meshes are not working properly on this one. Alright, there there may be bugs. Uh, we may have to go... Let's see, no, let's, let's switch off a Dryad, first of all. Also, thank... Oh my god. Is the Dryad the only one? The Dryad has some extra booba, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's see, let me let me actually select my race first, okay? Um, I don't want to be an elf. 
Or do I want to be an elf for this one? I've never actually played the elf. I've mostly been playing Tiefling because I just like horns. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a horny fella, if you know what I mean. Alright. We do have new horns, by the way. Um, eh, let me let me see if... There we go, the Asimar. Yes, the, the half angel. Might as well just play half angel because I like this one. I, I really do like this one. Let's see, Protector, Scourge, Radiant, is that Radiant AoE? No, it's to attacks and spells, you add those, okay. You infuse yourself ray target with Divine Ire, adding an additional 2 to A's Radiant damage to their next attack or spell. Uh, by the way, if, you're, if you've never actually played Baldur's Gate before... <clears throat> This is basically like Dungeon of Dr and Dragons. If you haven't played Dungeon and Dragons before, which is I I know it's pretty common because Dungeon and Dragons is mostly only popular in the US, in the United States. Yes. Um This is basically a tabletop game that's for PC, okay? I mean, if you've never played tabletop games, then you might not know, but uh, most of your actions are influenced by dice rolls, okay? Th this is basically how it's gonna explain the entire game and how you do it. Most of your stuff is influenced by dice rolls. Uh, I have actually had to uh, research a little bit because this is my f this was my first time playing a tabletop game that is like Dungeon and Dragons. I've never played Dungeon and Dragons because it's not popular in Romania at all. I've never even heard about Dungeons and Dragons until I've seen the Dungeons and Dragons online game, the MMO. Uh, by the way, you can play as Origin characters, which these are basically kind of your main characters in the game. Uh, fun fact: I may kill off Lazel because she's annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am having a hard time deciding what I actually want to go. Do I want to play, play like a Necromancer class? A Fallen Angel? A Scourge? Hmm. Having a hard time to decide what I actually want to play. The reason I'm not moving on is because if you don't choose these right now, and you choose la right later, you're gonna have to edit appearance again. So I don't want to do that. I want to just choose now and edit my appearance. Uh, I'm... I'm I think I'm primarily intelligence focused on the half angel class, the half angel race, the Asimar. I think I'm still not 100% sure if these uh, mods are displaying the information correctly on what your your uh, chosen race is supposed to be having as the primary ability. But, I am hoping this is correct, okay? Because it's very weird, it's showing primary ability to be intelligence, but it's 15 wisdom, which is kind of weird to me. Because if the primary one is intelligence, this is supposed to be, like, at least 16, no? I am pretty sure. Okay, we have apparently selected the Poisoner. I'm gonna go with the Fallen. Uh, let's not play Poisoner. I don't want to play Poisoner. Let me turn that off. It's kind of annoying that it's actually showing up on screen every single time. Is this... Is this why? Yep, alright. Let me remove that. All right, we got Mystic. Hmm. So this got 17 intelligence right off the bat. Ilfranger. Hmm. This is charisma focused, so apparently the class also influences this. Okay. I'm surprised my skin is working because... Yeah. It did not work previously in the last version of the collection. Wizard, um, let's not play default. I don't want to play a default class, though every single class has been uh, majorly enhanced. Hmm, I want to play cultist. A cultist half-angel. 
Hmm. Disciple of Shar. Oh, that's a big axe. What is this? Dark Tendrils. Alright, so remember I said everything is influenced by uh, dice rolls? Here we got one die. Uh, 12... What are they called? Is it Fatset? <laughs> die. I have to actually look this up. I think it's uh, Fatset, but I'm not completely sure. Is this in German? This might this might be <laughs> faces. There we go. I'm sorry. I was thinking about something in German instead. Okay, so it's die faces. I'm sorry. I'm. <sighs> I've been looking into some German stuff lately. So, yeah. Maybe why I was kind of just thinking about something else entirely. All right. Uh, we are 11 minutes in, and I have yet to actually make my class. Choose my class, rather. We do have subclasses as well. There's a lot of stuff, okay? A lot of stuff. Crusader, Fidelion... What? This is new to me, by the way, this Disciple of Short thing. Soul Hunter? Oh, wait, do I make a Grim Reaper type class? As a Fallen Angel? Hmm. Domain spells. Shadow weave. Fateful spell casting. Wisdom. Wait, so I use wisdom instead. It's weird to me that it doesn't tell me what my primary is. But it's fine. Huh. So, Crusader is Charisma, Fidelion is Wisdom, this one is Dexterity, Soul Hunter, Martial Arts. Wait, this is both, this is Dexterity instead of Strength and also Intelligence, so this is using both Int and Dex. Index? <laughs> Alright, um... Let's let's not do that. Let's let's see. Let's see. We got Paladin. Paladin's got some new stuff as well. Oath of the Bleak Walkers. Okay. So I I'm having a rough time actually choosing what I want to play. I'm sorry. This might take a bit. This might take a bit. Let's see. Mark of the Fallen. Lay on hands. Drain life. Mark of Putrefa- Oh my god, wait. We have an actual proper Dark Knight as a class. Oh my god, well, this is it. Shadow Weaver. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, let's go with Fateless. And... Uh, or, or do I go Kalimvor? I think Fateless is just double A for me. Hum. Let's just be an Outlander because Atlantic and survival. Gwar. And it, uh, it does seem to kind of just be it. Why is it so high in charisma though? Does it have some specific situations where it uses charisma? This might just be a, a Paladin type class. Did I not block you off? Hello? Why are you still showing up? Oh my god. Okay. Um, some mods may be buggy. Just remember that. My dex is very low and I don't like that because uh, your dodging is basically judged by uh, armor class. Okay. And your armor class is influenced by how high your dexterity is. And also your armors, equipment. So you usually want high dex. 
which uh, I may, may, may be doing, but this is high charisma, and why is my constitution so low? Uh, you don't need wisdom, even though, uh, wisdom saving throws. I kind of want 10 intelligence as well. My strength is really high, which leads me to believe that this is mostly a melee focused class, but it's low dex, low constitution, with 15 charisma. <sighs> this is very weird. I wish... It's telling me it's strength primary. Why is charisma 15 then? That's very weird to me. 15 dex. Sure, I'ma just lower these. Is is 9 default. Oh, it's because I got this. Okay. Um... Let's go Constitution. Let's bump that to 15, though I would like at least 16. What if I go like... Can I not go like this? Man! Why? <laughs> Let's see. Constitution influences your HP? I don't think an extra HP point is as beneficial as, well, the extra armor class. Alright. Time to do the appearance. I would very much like to hit random, but the game may crash. You know what, I'm gonna do that anyway. If I crash, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, no crash. Great. Uh, uh, uh this is the first time I see these horns. <laughs> I like these horns, not gonna lie, this has to be some new addition to the collection. It's kinda nice. Oh, hello! Damn, what happened with those ponytails? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let's not have this putrefied face. That mustache, though. Well, it's not bad, but I don't like the hair. Let's see. I'm gonna just click on random a bunch of times and see if I get something that's actually kind of... Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Hold up. I kind of vibe with this. I kind of vibe with this. You know what? Sure. Where to next? Sure. Sure. I kind of vibe with this. Huh. I didn't think I would create character in... Less than an hour, I'm gonna be honest, but I kinda vibe with this one. Let's see, let's go with a name. What's a good name for a Shadow Weaver? Basically a Grim Ripper. Can I go and select my... I, I do be Fallen Angel, so I don't... I don't necessarily like the phrase. I do wanna keep the... The features, if you know what I mean. Like this, for example. Oh. Okay. Okay. The one thing I don't like is the eyes. So I'm hoping I can change those. I'm, I'm gonna be thinking of a, of a name while I actually do these. Let's see. Where are the eyes? Where are the eyes? Eye color, flame green. Nah, let me, let me, let's see, dry and, dry and green? Dry on. <laughs> dry on! Jade, no. Can I have some normal eyes in here? I don't think I can because of the skin. Can I choose a head that is fallen angel, Asimar, but has normal eyes? Is that even a thing? You know what? I don't think it is. I don't think that's a thing. So I may have to ditch the Asimar features. I don't really like that, but let's choose the own. Ah. Keres? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna take a bit. This might take a bit. Just a bit. Well, what if... Mm, Asian style. Okay. Sanya? Uh, no. Damn, what happened to this one? 
Alright, that looks like a scorch face, not gonna lie. Hmm. Having a tough time deciding on a face. Elf head? I don't like the lips. I'm sorry, I don't like the lips, okay? Yulith? Hmm. Not too skinny. Too big jaw. <laughs> Giga Gigached right there. Alright, let's see uh Jilan? Nope. Hmm. I'm on it. Nah. That's not it. Why do I like the the actual Asimar faces more? I don't know. No. No. We don't do that. Uh, Athena alt? Ah, uh, you know what? This is not bad. Nose a little bit big, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not big, it's pointy. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. What if, what if Silva alt though? Ah. Uh. Sure, let's go with this one. This is fine. Alright. Dots? Nah. Nah. Oh wait, I can keep both? Wait, I can have these dots, but I can also have the scars? This is weird to me. I, can I remove dots? I don't think I... Uh, no dots, actually. Okay. Okay. So we can have... These are satyr features, by the way. The dots, I just realized. So we can have these dots. And the scars at the same time. Let's go! Do I go with this? I like how this looks, for some reason. Whenever I make a necromancer type class, I just uh, character rather, I just always end up just selecting scar eight for some reason. I don't know. Ah yes. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with the physics? All right, no beard, no beard. Bearded lady Naga Boros. I'm sorry, the Ilawa in me is just yeah. <laughs> Do I keep this here or what is this? Oh, if I click that, let me actually see. It's Tav Hair Pack 67. Alright, let's see if I click 92. Nah. Oh, this is not bad. You know what? I kind of vibe with this one, but what if Air of Thunder? Ooh. Game froze a little bit there. All right, there, there, there's a lot of hair. There is a lot of hair. This is decent, but not for what I'm going right now. Something is definitely wrong with the physics, though. I like this one, but not for this character right now. Ah. Nah. I mean, this is not that bad. I just kind of want to see the pointy ears for some reason. I don't know. Jahera? Why is the game just lagging out? I mean, I guess we do have 560 plus mods. <laughs> that would be a good reason. As to why the game is lagging out sometimes. I like the dreads, but I'm not gonna keep them. Let's see, what's a what's a good hair? What's a good hairstyle? 71? That's cute, but no. Cute is not what I'm going for. 
Let me just go back to 71, was it? 79? Was it 79? I don't remember. I do not. 67? I don't remember. Was it 67? I think it was this. This is good enough for me. I'll just keep this. And, uh... Let me check the graying just a little bit. Let's just go black. A little bit of black. Here we go. They say black neutral, but... Yeah, actually, sure. The green. Make it more green. What if... What if more green? Is there even more green? I like the green. Alright, a uh, tail? Oh, we have an actual tail. That's kinda nice. What if no tail? Nah, let's keep the tail, actually. Yes, we're, we're a weirdo. We got tail. We don't care about the nails, because for some reason I don't think they actually work. The nail colors, I mean. Is it just me or is the outfit a little bit weird around the, the gauntlets? The gloves are clipping. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. See a little bit of clipping on the wrists? Yep. Alright, we don't touch the dye colors. That's fine. Okay, we got some jewelry in here. Uh, Medusa piercing? Where you at? Oh, it's on the lip. But I think the lips are so thick, you can barely just... You can barely see that piercing because of the lips. Uh, Weezer's Folly? Nah, let's not put anything in the nose. <laughs> too big? Still too big? Nope, nope. Ooh, green. I like this. Dunmer set. Yes, we do have the Donmer. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this. Actually? Let's go with this. Oh, I'm, I feel like I'm about to sneeze soon. <laughs> ah. Alright, we can change horns. How horny do I want to be? How horny do I want to be? That's very horny. <laughs> Maybe some different type horns? How about this? I like this. I usually end up picking something like this. This also reminds me of Smolder, by the way. From League of Legends, if you're wondering. Ooh. Ooh, I, I like this. Okay, so this is affecting the lighting on top, basically. Not even the color, just the lighting. Okay. They got some, some weird glow going, I'm not gonna lie. Sure. And then... They say tail color, but this is the horns. Huh. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like green too. Three? Green too? I feel like green too is okay, because it's kind of the same color as the hair. Alright. Well, I feel like our character has shaped it up nicely. What if I go with, with this? This reminds me of Diablo. Very much reminds me of Diablo, actually. Hmm. This is just kind of weird. That's kind of nice as well, but... Crystal Skewer? No, I don't like this. Okay. Let me just check a few more horns before I decide how horny I want to get. Do I want to just place something like this? Nah. Lathander's Glory? No, I don't think I want the blindfold. 
Even though... This could be kind of nice. Ooh, I do, have, I do have to switch the eyes. I forgot. Alright, I think I am keeping the... Ascended Pillars or the Fallen Pillars. L let me actually go with the Fallen Pillars because we do be playing a Fallen Angel. Let's see, can I make it black? Um, basically no. It's not gonna change, okay. Alright, Minotaur? Okay... Kind of vibe with this, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at some point I did have the, the Minotaur class. Also at some point I had Illidan's Horns, which actually, uh, these kinda... Do remind me of Illidan's Horns from, uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Kanya Pinnacle. Damn, that's not bad either. Onyx? Nah, let's just go with the Fallen Pillars. Alright, time to name myself. Uh, actually, I do need to change the, the eye. Where the eye's at? Sure. Nah. Um, I usually just skip the tattoos because I don't like them. I don't know, I just don't like them. Most of them are just bad, except this one. I like this one for some reason. Or this. This or this is usually what I go with. It's just kind of simple, you know? Let's see, a little bit of green, because, you know... Um, can I go lower? Whoops. Okay, the UI is a little bit fucky. Just a little bit. I'm gonna actually go with this one, and I'm gonna make this green as well. Let's see. Leaves? Yeah, sure, this is, um... Green 6... Where is green six? There we go. It's actually kind of the same though. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I like this one. I wish I could color the scars as well, I'm not gonna lie. Lips red. Um, no, let's change that actually. What if we go with kind of an icy blue or teal? Let's see, metallic. Let's see, is there like an actual proper... Mm. I don't want it glossy. Nah. We need something... Hmm. I do actually want to change the skin color, by the way. Let's see. Body, no, adjust. Adjust, there we go. A little bit of a... No, this is too much. This is too much. Storm tone? Green tone? Aqua? No. Azure? No. Ah, too much, too much, too much. Wisteria? Dusk. Uh, Ice Stone is not it. Moon? I like the moon one, but it's a little bit too purple. Vampire? Pink? Purple? Azure? Hmm. Ashlands? This is not it. Molag Amur. 
Shogorod? No. I like the Molag one. Bitter Coast? No. Green one does not seem to work with the... You know, I like this one. This kind of just resembles an Angel of Death. A Fallen Angel of Death. With horns. Because it's a Fallen Angel and this one just kind of went a little bit ham on the demon side. Sure. I like this one. Time to give myself a name. Hmm, we'll see. How about, um... Damn, we're 35 minutes in. Alright, this took a bit. This took a little... This took a little minute, okay? Let me name myself... Let's see. Let's see. How about Kremiel? Kremiel, sure. I like I like this name. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Just random. I shall proceed. I do need a guardian. I'm not gonna press random here because if I press random here, my game's gonna crash. So I'm just go with an Asimar guardian, sure. Just good old Asimar. The second I press a uh, random here, it's gonna just crash. Scourge. Let's make it a protector. Harbinger? Nah. Let's make this one a protector, Asimo. Actually, let's make it a f another fallen one. Sure. And we go. Uh, I'm sure you guys already kind of maybe know about the, the cutscenes in this game. I know it's a hella popular game, so a lot of you probably already know this. But let's just leave it a play, okay? I do want to see most of the cutscenes in the game. Even though I have seen this one and... Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I have played 55-ish hours, and uh, I have not finished Act 1, okay? I have not finished Act 1. That's, that's all I'm going to, all I'm going to say. I like to take my time, so this is going to be a long series, okay? Especially since it's modded. If we don't crash a lot, this is going to be a long series. Uh, hopefully... I think I'm just I'm not gonna update the mod list for a while unless unless Wast gets fixed. Hopefully Wast got fixed in this collection update. Then we are good. Wast movement is something I just really want, okay? Wast movement and camera tweaks. Yeah, we do we need those. We need those badly. Alright, I'm gonna shut up from now on.
Alrighty then. Uh, one thing I do need to... I do need to check. Uh, we have a lot of stuff. I just realized. Oh, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Alrighty then. And I think... Hmm. Do we do the first... Do we do the tutorial in this one video? Do I have time? Let's see. It's 11.35 right now. I gotta be at kindergarten in a bit. So let, let me let me actually speed this up. We got a pearl. Mind my step. Let's see. Zooming in does not seem to work. Wasp doesn't work. Man, this is so annoying. <sighs> it's because Larian keeps updating the game. And the mods keep breaking. There's a chest up here. Which is why I'm sitting in this room. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Let you know a little secret. We are currently playing on Tactician. And first of all... I'm not gonna jump there. Because I don't want to lose my HP. Uh, let's see. We have Corpse Requirement. on that Automation. Auto Use Healing Pots. I don't... Really know why those are on by default, but sure. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let me unlock this. Move this here, move this here. Uh, I think that's a teleport. Sure, what is this? Mark of the Fallen. Alright, what is this? Grapple, okay. I just want to move stuff that is not necessary out of the way. Okay. Uh, we need this. This. Okay. We got this right here. I'm moving this. And we need a little bit more space. Alright. We don't need those, so I'm moving them out of the way. There is a lot of extra stuff in this mod collection that you normally would not use. Also, if you're wondering why my game looks like this, you might have noticed me switching on and off the colors. Um, I got my own personal reshade going on. And if you like this, let me know. I do need to check the brightness, though, just before I move on. Let's see. Where's the... Ah, I forgot where the brightness is. Hold up. Bloom, depth of field, uh, gamma correction, was this it? I think I need this to be bright as hell for the recording. No, this is maybe a little bit too bright, okay. Maybe just maybe a little bit too bright. Barely visible is what we do want. There we go, there we go. Now, unfortunately, wasp is not a thing, so this is going to be a little bit annoying. But, yeah. It's fine. Okay, let me let me check. I know there are a couple of chests in here. It's been a while since I've actually uh, played through the game, because... Yeah. I don't remember. What stats do I got on this? Uh, strength, con, dex. Okay. Like a good to I'm about to bust the brain. Yes! You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Oh god. This character looks so good. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna explore all the options, I'm gonna get, let you guys do this, so I'm just gonna go kind of for the correct one. Alright, let's see, uh, strength it is. We don't have guidance on this one, so... Okay, we have fast rolls. Oh, I forgot to check my dice. It's fine. 
I don't think I have a die mod. I may need to add a die mod. I have seen a die that I do like, actually. I swear Larian did such a good job on this game. This is basically the new Skyrim, by the way. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people from Skyrim that were, that were playing modded Skyrim have just moved over. Even though they, they may not like turn-based combat. I, I keep forgetting to check the die. I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm gonna do that next time. I like the faster dice roll animation, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the default one is much too slow. Like, I, as much as I like it, it's way too slow. It takes too much time. This is default game, by the way. The default game looks so good. But I like the level of immersion I have added with the reshade. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that lighting, bro. And those shadows. Jesus. Let me see if I can actually show you guys my reshade. Oh, I can. That's kind of nice, actually. Alright, so th this is what I got going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, Alright, let's go to the helm. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit because I got, I got 20 minutes. To finish this. 20 minutes. Because I gotta go. And I don't really want to edit. I got 20 minutes to finish the tutorial area. That means killing uh, Commander Zulk. Bro, this character looks so good. <laughs> The modders are just doing a splendid job. I'm sorry, but the the level of detail and uh, just the game in general is doing the mods a huge favor too. I'm not gonna lie. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. me this day. Together, we might survive. Let's go with option four. Then we find the helm and take control. All right, we got a little bit of combat going on. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes mm. in thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Do I want to keep Lazel around this time? Uh, in my last playthrough, I killed Lazel, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that is an option. You don't lose anything for killing Lazel. She's not mandatory to the story, is what I'm saying. But I may just keep her around this time. Alright. Boom, you did. I wish I had a double attack, but that may be available only at the next level. Let me just jump. Here we go. Making sure we get right up in there. Ah. I forgot I gotta adjust these for every single character. It's kind of annoying, actually. So, combat. The way combat works. Saving throws. The opponent rolls a dice, or you roll a dice as well. And, uh, I do need to actually do this. I may do it later, but let me actually check if there's anything I need right now. Okay, I can do this right now. And it's kind of fast too. So let me do that right now. Since we can. Okay, this is, this is fine. This is fine. Taste my fury. 
So yeah, you roll a dice and then you get a saving throw. Okay. And uh, I may not be the best guy to explain this because I still don't necessarily know everything myself. I definitely don't actually. But if you fail the saving throw, well, you you fail the roll, which means you get hit. One gold. Man, give me some more, brother. Let's, see. Let's enter the anus of the ship. <laughs> the sphincter. Alright, we, we're saving Shadowheart. Actually, before I save Shadowheart, let me grab this real quick. We do need those. Come on. Um. Uh, can I? Why can I not just bust this open? That is my question. Sure, I'll try the sorcerer one, even though it may not work because my int is low. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Fail failure. I keep forgetting about the die. Man, I swear, next time I do I, I won't be forgetting, okay? <sighs> Lazel, shut up! See this is why I killed Lazel. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die? She's so annoying, bro. <laughs> All right, come on. I remember last time I just pulled this off. I got 17 strength and for some reason I can't. Very annoying. Oh, I need the I need the key from there. Inside there. Uh someone let me know in the comment section below if you do end up watching this video. <laughs> that is uh, can you save this person? Right here. Is there a way to save this person? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Is there a way to save this person? Let me know in the comment. Because I know if I press this, uh, this, uh, panel button right here, uh, she gets transformed. Uh, I am not gonna touch these. What I do look for is the default stuff. Yeah, this is the quote-unquote tutorial chest. I am not gonna touch these. I think the default one is just an onyx. So I'm gonna pick this up and add the wares. And I, I don't remember if the default one has anything else in there, but... Normally you would take this chest. I can't. Now I can't take it. Because if I take it, well, I, I can't actually because it's it's full. So I would have to take everything inside just to take that one. So this is gonna be a little bit annoying. Is there another chest somewhere? I don't really know. If there's no chest, I I can't kill Commander Zolk. Time to play the rune. Alright, play the hand. We don't talk about the Arcana Sorcerer stuff because we low int. We dumb AF apparently. Come on, I got I got 10 minutes to kill Commander Zolk. I don't know if this is possible, honestly. Minus one wisdom. Please roll a three at least. Thank god, bro. All right, let me actually. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> I keep forgetting, bro. My memory's so bad. And you do it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Ah. 
This is the moment you hear the, the windows uh, shut down. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Dangerous is what you need. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right, let's go. I am Cremiel. <laughs> I should have just named her Creamy. It's fine. I'm not gonna talk about that because she doesn't like being. She doesn't like being pestered about the artifact. Alright. Let's go open the Onyx one. Or... Elaborate Reliquary. We get an Onyx. Another one. Alright, let me actually heal the... Us. Let me heal us. Alright, we don't kill Commander Zalk. I don't think we can. What I need to do is go talk to Shadowheart real quick. Have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her skills. Make sure I unlock this first of all. Remove these, because they're annoying in the way all the time. Uh, whoops, there's fire. Whoops. Man, there is so much stuff. Alright. There we go. That's all we need. And I need to... Remove Inflict Wounds. Add Command. Shield of Fate is okay, but not really what we need right now. I don't need Guiding Bolt, actually. What I do need... I don't need Shield of Fate either. I need Protection from Evil and Good. And I think I need Sanctuary? I could take Bane, but I'm not so sure if I want it here. Let's see. Creature you can see. I'm gonna go with the Cure Wounds because he's stronger in melee range. And we will be in melee range. Uh, Lazel has no new moves currently. Lazels that is like just very annoying like that very annoying sister okay unfortunately because I did not uh, collect the the chest I may not be able to actually fight um what's his face commander Zolk I'm gonna go with shadow heart in first so I'm gonna try but we'll see if this is gonna work out in our favor or not I got seven minutes I may not be able to actually win this fight. Just keep that in mind. Just because I, I was unable to collect the chest. Since we got Shadowheart first, uh, I'm gonna use the command spell. I'm gonna make him drop his weapon. Now bear in mind this is only 40% efficiency. Kinda. It's a 30% chance that this is gonna work. It may fail. And also next turn there is a small chance he may actually pick up his weapon. <laughs> so yeah. Please work. Damn it, man. Ugh, I, mm, I did forget to save, but... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's go. I do need to actually read this, because I don't know. Ooh, I did not one-shot him. That's kind of bad, actually. Oh my god. 
Okay, I need the second uh, the second drop command to actually work. Now, luckily, oh my god, he's 250 HP. Yeah, we are playing on Tactician, by the way. Okay, I'm getting hit already. That's kind of bad. All right, Lazel, I need you to move. Let me actually dash. How far can you go? Okay, this is fine. Can I make you just jump right there? Thank God, bro. Alright. So you need these tanks. Now, I wish there was another chest in this room specifically, but there isn't. Anyway. Alright. Uh, you hit this one. Okay, then you move up. Collect. Collect. You may ward yourself on an ally with your inner darkness, forcing the next enemy who attacks them in melee to take to make a charisma saving throw, or become fearful. Can I use this from? Oh, it's a melee. It's melee range. Okay. All right, we run all the way over here, just so I make the ranged attacker not be able to use the. Range attacks properly. Alright. Damn it, he missed. Oh my god, he hits very hard. Thank god he missed the second one. Okay, I got about four turns. Four. Had to check my phone real quick. Alright, we jump with Lazel. Right here. I'm gonna try, but it's obviously gonna fail. Uh, astral thingy and uh, magic hand, we want those. Alright. Another command spell. I should have used this when he was stunned, but it's fine. Please drop. God damn it, man! See, I wanted this sword. I wanted to give this one to Karlak, but it's fine. Ah, uh, no, actually it's not fine, because now I can't fight him. I'm not gonna, uh, save scum this. I could, but I, I now I can't fight him. Because I have no more spell slots for this one. Please one shot, thank you. I'm gonna try to overwhelm him. And what I need to do is, first of all, hit with this one, please. There we go, just a little bit of extra damage. I need to move the... Us. The brain, I need to move him forward so the stuff doesn't spawn in. <sighs> Please do the dips, but I need to check first if... Okay, the mods got removed. Lazel had some interesting attacks. But those mods got removed. I have no more spell slots, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Gotta buff this guy up. And unfortunately, I had to waste my turn. I'm gonna do this. Please don't attack me. Okay. Put Mark of the Fallen. Let's see. Mark a target to make it vulnerable to necrotic damage. Unless it is immune to necrotic damage. Oh my god. I just removed my necrotic thingies. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna do another attack. Of course, he's gonna miss. Because this dumbass is just very strong, he's level 8. Commander Zolk is just the OP mother yucker in the tutorial area. Where are you going? This is the first time I see him actually run away, what the f- Oh, he's feared. Eh, okay, this is annoying because everything's gonna spawn in then. Bro, okay. I'm just gonna use ranged then. It's kind of annoying actually. But, such is life. Let me do the other one. Higher chance to actually hit, but it's still gonna miss, obviously. This guy just dodges everything. Which makes him very annoying. Your deathly touch can drain life from the living or mend the flesh of the undead. Hmm.
Okay. Let's drain. Oh, this is necrotic. Oh, hold up. That changes things. Molester. <laughs> what? Alright, let me... I have to go in... Oh, sh that's annoying. I'm gonna have to... Stop this video, actually. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Because I gotta go, but I'm gonna have to edit this. Oh, so annoying. So annoying. I'm gonna have to save here and just come back later. Alright, let's see if we can actually finish this. Oh, let's put us on him. Bear in mind the the cambions are about to spawn, which are two demons that are basically kind of the same level as this dude. They're very annoying to deal with. All right, he goes in. He's still afraid. He's still running, by the way. How? <laughs> This, this looks so weird. Alright. Wait, there's an upstairs here? I never knew. Oh my god, there's an extra? Wait, is this an extra chest? I never knew there was an upstairs here. And an extra chest. Is this an extra chest? The game is not telling me. So the light shell. This is a no. This is a table. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it was an extra chest. I have played through this area like twenty times already. I never knew there was an actual upstairs. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's end Lazel's turn. This is gonna be annoying. How long is this guy afraid for? Six more turns. Dang. I don't think I can beat him in, in what, next turn? Because I think that's when the Cambions spawn. That's very annoying, actually. I think I can make the... the Mind Flayer deal with these. Okay, this is... Oh, this dude is the most annoying thing in the game. I swear to... Ah... Oh. Okay, maybe there's actually something more annoying, I don't know, but... No, actually, I'm, I am wrong. There are stuff that are way more annoying. This is doing no damage. Healing me, you say? Okay. 2 HP heal, I guess. Here come the Cambions. You can't fight those, by the way. They're like 200 HP each. Uh, 117. And they're level 4. So they're very annoying. That's what I'm trying to say. How is this guy dodging everything? That's what I don't understand. Like, I get it. He's level 8, but... Trying to look for the other dude. The Mind Flayer is level 8 as well. And for some reason, he's perma-missing. It's very weird. Where are you going? Oh my, he's running upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, can I please jump here? There we go. Make sure I... Can I hit this imp real quick game? Thank you. Pretty sure I clicked like twice. Alright, I get hit by a firebolt. Annoying. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. Not without the tutorial chest in my possession. Still on my feet. Um, Sure, let me just handle the imps, I guess. I mean, I tried, but yeah, with the cambions here, you definitely can do this. And I have no heals because I wasted both of my attempts... At a spell from Shadow Heart. All right, come on. This dude slept, stepped in flame for some reason. Where are you running? <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? 
I I can't I can't spend more time here without actually dying, so I'm gonna just make a run for it right now. It's a little bit annoying that that's how it's gonna be, but yeah. Big old dragon head. <laughs> Alright, for some reason. They coded this so that you only see the cutscene from the perspective of the character you you used. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> we are basically playing Lazel right now. Uh, if you're wondering, I am 100% sure all of these uh, cutscene images we got running are AI generated. So yeah. Alright, we are seeing Mintara and I, f I forgot what this dude's name is, but these are bosses inside the Goblin Stronghold. Yes, spoilers. Oh, there we go. There's our character, finally. I did forget to switch the eyes. Luckily, I can do just that. So, we're gonna go back into character customization and I need some green pair of eyes. Or do I just leave them like that? Hmm. Let me just leave them like that. At this point. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. All right. Let's Chaos orient. Chaos crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Alright, we got a tutorial here. Man, I'm a little bit upset that I was not able to actually beat Commander Zulk. And mostly because we have the mods. Beating Commander Zulk is actually really easy. All you need is two chests, literally. And the, the Nautiloid tanks that explode. It's very easy, actually. Dealing with the Cambions, however, is not. Uh, let's wake her up. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. If you reach for the artifact, uh, she gets upset, so don't do that. Uh, don't matter. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn. I the hell was that face, though? <laughs> I remember falling. The nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Alright, we, we should probably just... 
Now what, actually? I know Lazel and Shadowheart don't like each other. Mostly because they are basically from different religious sects. And they 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 don't mess with one another. Mostly because the Githyanki just kind of hate everybody else. Which is also why I don't like Lazel, because she's just very annoying. You know that Karen in shops? Yeah, that's Lazel. Alright, let's get moving. And with this, we end part number one you, of Kremiel's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And stick around, this is probably gonna be a long journey. Oh, a very long journey. Next time, we level up. And we complete our, our party. Um, still not completely sure who I want to be in the party. But, yeah. I may get Karlak. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.